Hi everyone, Joe for ChaspiesCaseBreaks.com, coming at you with 2021 Topps Chrome Formula One Racing. Um, chrome, pretty good stuff. We got two boxes of light and one box of hobby. This is three box random team two, so it's basically a hobby light mixer. All card ship. There's all the, the teams right there. Big thanks to this group here. And there are the teams right there. So it's a it's usually the F1 team paired with like another F2 team or something like that. Or Renault's also paired with BWT, BWT, but you get it. Big thanks to this group once again for getting in on the F1 action season starting soon. Let's roll it, randomize it. Three and a two, five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and five. And Will, I'm going to show you the boxes in just a second too, so you can get a visual look. Uh, after five, we got Chance or Chance D Diekman down to Ryan Kaysen. Chance down to Ryan. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we got Ferrari down to McLaren. All right, Chance, you got Ferrari, Brian with Haas, Ryan with Aston Martin, Steven with Renault and BWT, uh, Will, you got AlphaTauri, Michael with Williams Racing, Craig with Mercedes AMG, Will with Alpine, Steven with Red Bull, Will with Alfa Romeo, and Ryan with McLaren. Let's alphabetize by team name. And there are the two uh, light boxes right here and the hobby box sitting back there. So we're going to pause the video when we, uh, we pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. So that list right there remains the same. Thanks for hanging with me on a Thursday night. Appreciate it. So let's do the, that's the hobby box. Let's do the light boxes first. I wish they would distinguish it a little bit, but I guess the light boxes will tell you that they have ray wave, par ray wave parallels. I wish it was like a different color scheme or something. It's a little too similar. Good luck, everyone. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, as a reminder, all card shit. Ooh, and a plate. Who is it? Can you tell by that picture right there? Do you know your F1? Wonder if the price on these boxes, Will's wondering if the will have a similar trajectory to last year's. I don't know. I think the I think the cat is out of the bag. I think people know F1 now, especially because of last year. All right, looks young, looks like an F2 guy, says Edward Riffer saying, young guy. It's, no, it's David Breville for Alpine. He is, is he, is he a driver? Yeah, team principal looks like. Yeah, currently the racing director of the Alpine F1 team.
There you go. And that is for Will Driggers. Will. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. He does look kind of young though. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if it's a younger picture or if the... He's 57. Or if the... Uh, maybe the plate is helping him out. Just softer features on the plate. All right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. There's... Sergio Pre there he is again. I see he looks a little bit older right here, right? I mean, there's a lot of cart here. Hold on. Let's So we'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load or top load all of these just in the interest of time. But let's set that guy there. There's Sergio Perez, checkerboard. So we've got a podium, path to the podium insert, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, who's now his he's now his teammate, right, I think. There's Botas. Sebastian Vettel to three ninety nine. I think I'm gonna be following trying trying to follow I'm gonna to attempt to follow Lando. A little more closely this year. And McLaren. Here is Max Verstappen. Grand Prix. Driver of the day. Where in the oh, the three race span, the anniversary Grand Prix. There you go. Nice silver there for uh, Steven. Sebastian Vettel for Aston Martin, two, uh, 49 out of 399. That'll be for Ryan. Another Ray Wave, Max Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton. Pierre Gasly. Checkerboard, or X Fractor, however you want to call it. Max Verstappen. For Red Bull, that'll be for Steven. These are one of the exclusive parallels here. That's uh, Pierre Gasly for AlphaTari. AlphaTari for Will. There's Lewis Hamilton. And an another Ray wave of Lewis, or check that, Max Verstappen. Once again for Steven and Red Bull. Mercedes is Craig. Craig has Mercedes AMG. I like the the trophies that are outlined like the uh, like the course. There's Lewis Hamilton, silver Grand Prix winner in Styrian. Not sure where that is, but there. Kind of get. Got a little into a little into the F1 last year, trying to get more into it this year. Still, still a bit of a rookie, but breaks like this definitely helps me get familiar with names. Helps me learn some of the drivers, some of the courses. I, I like auto racing in general, so I can appreciate the principles of of all that. A couple of Max Verstappen's right here. Lando Norris, McLaren. That's, I think that's the team I'm supporting this year. Just I just picked one randomly. Lando Norris is pretty fun. He had a live stream of him playing PGA 2K the other uh, over the weekend. Thought that was pretty fun. I like playing PGA 2K. And we've got a green Ray Wave for Gianluca Petkov. Pietkov? For F2 Campos Racing. 99 out of 99. That's F2 Campos. That is comboed with Alfa Romeo. That goes to Will. There's a Lewis Hamilton Grand Prix Bahrain winner. And that's a 
a silver refractor right there. All right, first light box, second light box coming up. Yeah, that's one thing that I maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll work on that this weekend just because the you know that's 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 a good primer or that's a good warm up to this upcoming season, right? I think the first F one match Saturday, March twentieth, maybe. And I think we we as in we as in Americans we America got I'm pretty sure we got two races here in the United States. And I think Austin was already one of them. And then um, Miami, I think, is the is the second U.S. race. So that's pretty cool, too. I know that Netflix documentary has definitely... Um, you know, has definitely just raised the profile and the interest of F1 here in the United States. I got. To, I have some buddies that that are really into it and have them for a long time, and they were like, "Yeah, that that F one series, you know, really boosted." And then and then obviously pandemic came around and people were binging all sorts of stuff, you know. So I did not watch the Kanye documentary on Netflix. Is that good? There's just too many things to watch. I like Kanye though. I'll watch that. I'll, I'll find some time for that documentary. Chancing, they're thinking of adding Vegas next year. That would be awesome. I would definitely go to that. Not not too far to travel for us here in LA. Find it. I'm blanking on this uh, on this guy's name, but I did read a great book, a great great Formula One book. Mazepin out. There's Lance Stroll, Ray Wave. Some more Valtteri Bottas. Got a uh, for F2 MP Motorsport, Richard Verscore. I like this sort of X Fractor checkerboard pattern here. Oh, the book I read is called Total Competition by Ross Braun and Adam Parr. I think Ross Braun handled a lot of those, uh, those Schumacher teams back in the day, right? And I think maybe like, you know, in F1 leadership now at this point. That's purple Lewis Hamilton, nice. Here's a rookie refractor. Another Lewis Hamilton, Sergio Perez Ocon. Let's 
So there's a Lewis Hamilton in Portugal. There is Formula One Freshness rookie car, Yuki Tsunoda. One of the one of the younger guys out there. Um, he races with Alpha Tari. And that's gonna go to Will Driggers. Here's Max Verstappen and uh, Abu Dhabi. There is Lewis Hamilton Purple, 307 out of 399. And there's a Max Verstappen right here, Red Bull Racing Honors. Right, yeah. So Ross Braun, yeah, legend, right? I think Adam Parr in his own right, I think is is involved with racing or is known in racing journalism or something like that. But yeah, total competition. Lessons in strategy from Formula One. Uh, I kind of blindly picked it up just because I wanted some Formula One content. I sort of audio, audio booked it. Another refractor right here in Turkey. But it, it's pretty good. Kind of, kind of, sort of like a, a lot of great F one stories and some, uh, and some sort of like I guess. Leadership like stuff that's in there too. Without being too, without being too cheesy. There's Lewis Hamilton Ray Wave. For Mercedes, Craig with that one. Craig getting a lot of the, all those all those Lewis Hamiltons add up. Some more than others, I would guess. Max Verstappen in the Ray Wave pattern there. There's another, some more color for Lewis Hamilton. And there's Lance Stroll, Ray Wave. And there's uh, Lewis Hamilton, 162 out of 399. That is for Mercedes, of course. That'll go to Craig. So I'll have to look that up, Chance. Adrian Newey is the head engineer for Red Bull and designs their cars and has a great book as well. All right, so those were our two light boxes. A lot of stuff in there. And now, four... So light has four and 16. And then... Um, Hobby has four and 18 plus the chance at autographs. Not guaranteed every box, but we got a chance. How to build a car. Okay, I have to look that up. That sounds. When did when did that book come out? Pretty, pretty crazy what goes into what goes into an F1 team. Building the team, building the car, building it to all those specs. Um, I think the the tire management has always been sort of a a really fascinating thing to me. Because you only have like a few tire compounds, right, for a couple different situations, and you only have X number of tires that you could use in any given 
I think through qualifying and the actual race, I think you're only given X amount of tires. Which I think for like NASCAR, that might be sort of unheard of. Having just a small number of tires I can use for an entire race. I think NASCAR races are a little bit longer too, but still. Most, I have to. I got to think a, a better part of the field does does end up does end up finishing the race. And there's the auto, and it's for F two Carlin's Dan Tictum autograph. So maybe an up and coming star here. Uh, F2 Carlin, that's uh, the Alpine Carlin combo. That's for Will Driggers. There you go, Will. Yeah, chance is right. Yeah, from from the races I've watched, I, it's not like NASCAR where, where like in the Daytona 500, like half the field can get wiped out, you know, and out of 30 drivers or whatever, you know, maybe 40 drivers, there's like only 15 finishing or whatever. It's a little dramatic, but you know what I mean? But I think for the most part, um, most of the drivers do do finish. And that's one of my something my friends tell me that 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 like on that show, it does it does really kind of overemphasize like the the drama in there to the point where they're just like yeah and it's just like. Half the field gets wrecked, and they're out, and blah, blah, blah. All right, some more of these sort of base Hamiltons and Verstappens. But as a percentage, I'll bet, I'll bet NASCAR loses more cars in races than, uh, than an F1. I feel like uh, I feel like if anything, it's either it's either the car breaks down and that's when you'll lose a car. It's not. I feel like wrecks don't happen too often. I feel like the car breaks down more often, or they'll just be driver error where they where they slide off the track or something like that, and then they wreck. It's like these solo crashes. There's Mick Schumacher. Chance is also increasing with tires this year. They're skipping compounds from medium to soft, so it should be really interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Wait, so what are the tire compounds now? It's just it's just wet and then hard. That's it. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that Mick Schumacher rookie card going to Brian Croft and Haas. There's Lewis Hamilton, another Lewis Hamilton. We got an orange. This is a nice one, too. We got an orange George Russell for Williams Racing, 9 out of 25. Nice low number on that. Michael Estrella with Williams. Max Verstappen Refractor. We got Nikita Mazepin Purple. We will not be seeing him this this season. They have C1, C5 through C5, and for the first race, hard 
to C2, medium C3, soft C5, and switch those up from track to track. Yeah, let me actually top load that. Yeah, you don't see those these low numbers too often. Now remember, all card ship, so whoever you have, you know, it's worth looking at like Sebastian Vettel's and whatnot. It's worth looking all of these up. Because you may be surprised at, at how some of these may go for in a secondary market. 009 at 399. That is uh, Richard Verscore for MP Motorsport, which will be part of the Scu yeah, Scudetta Ferrari combo for chance. And there's Lewis Hamilton. And there you go, gang. That was another break of 2021 Topps Chrome Formula One. Yeah, that was a pretty good box, right? I think so too. We got the autograph, the orange, some parallels, a bunch of nice Lewis Hamiltons, and um, and Max Verstappen's F1 season coming up real soon, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got plenty of F1 here on personal breaks and all that sort of stuff. So um, keep buying in because because we we only just started dipping into a couple of fresh cases of light and hobby. Another three boxes in the store. F1 season coming up, a good time to collect all the stuff and then watch races with us, you know? We'll be watching the races every week and we'll be talking about them. So you might have some of these cards in your hands and, and we can talk about them, see if you know any of your drivers win. Maybe increase the values of what you have. Should be a fun season. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and I'll race with you next time. Bye-bye.